Hi, it's Stella from Ipilin University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet for Marco Polo 2 in the service of the cut from Hans Imglick. You continue your journey after Marco Polo 1 from Beijing. Now your travel continues to the west in the service of the Khan for wealth and fame. The game plays 2 to 4 players with mechanics such as dice rolling, worker placement, point on point movement, and order fulfillment. The game is of medium complexity. Marco Polo 2 is a standalone game. You don't need to know or play Marco Polo 1 to enjoy it. There are many ways to earn points in this game, which make the games quite replayable. On the start of the round, each player rolls their 5 dice, then one player at a time assigning one or more dice in a space onto the main board to take the action immediately. Actions you can do, such as traveling, getting or converting goods, getting money, getting guild seals, completing contracts, and fulfill your endgame secret objectives. You also unlock more worker space by traveling and erecting your trading posts at various locations, making traveling quite powerful, not to mention income bonus. You get points by these actions, plus completes contract cards, erecting the last three of your trading posts, try to erect your trading post in places with different banners for variety collection bonus, and upgrading guild seals for income bonus. The game ends after five rounds, and the player with the most points wins. The asymmetric character power dealt at the start of the game to each player are quite powerful, gives you strategy and things you can focus on in the game. There are some dice mitigation mechanics, like camels can manipulate the dice, get you extra dice, and you also get them as compensation if you roll less than 15 dice pips in a round. There are actions that are cheaper for lower dice pips also, so it's not too bad to have lower dice pips. Like for me, I usually roll low. Seems like traveling could give you multiple bonus, but it also encourages you to generalize on other areas such as getting some items as cost to be paid for travel and getting guild seals as some roads you can't pass unless you have the appropriate seals. Now I have Marco Polo 1 review in a separate video and another one comparing Marco Polo 1 and 2. So check the link in the description below to check out those videos. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Meeple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time.